Hi. It is with great sorrow that we learn of the death of Her Majesty the Queen. We send our deepest sympathy to His Majesty the King and all members of the royal family. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Good day, everyone. I'm Amy Robach here with TJ Holmes, and we are coming on the air with somber news from Buckingham Palace. Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96. She was, of course, a symbol of strength and resolve for generations. She was an influential global presence for decades and of course Britain's longest ruling monarch, the world's second longest ruling monarch in history, her reign spanning 70 years. We just received a tweet from the royal family saying the queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The king and the queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Yeah, as I said, it's that, that it's a so sense of continuity, yeah. Yeah. like from what an incredible thing from the 50s to now, and like whatever crappy things were happening. It's like the nation's grandmother, wasn't she? She was, like, she was always there, always had a smile on her face, she was just so reliable, and as I said, she was the longest, run, run, longest running queen we've ever had. It's going to be so strange not to think we've got. We've, I've only ever known a queen like the book that we've got. I had like, I had like so many books on her and everything, and I absolutely loved her. I think she was an incredible woman, and I, I think she was a really great role model. You know, she no matter what happened, she knew she had a job to do, and she did it. Um, I don't think she ever really put a foot wrong. She just she knew she had a job. She got it done. <laughs> Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II. You will be missed. You will forever be an icon to London and will forever be in our hearts. From the front cover on our money to the Elizabeth line, the bread and butter of London streets. Fly high, Queen Elizabeth. I thought it had to be upside down for the press. As they can see. <laughs> I don't matter. I don't matter. <laughs> well, I think you'd probably read it upside down. I too. think you'd probably read it. <laughs> <laughs> Queen's Latin Jubilee. Yes. That's very nice. Uh, there, there is a knife. I don't know whether you would like to just do a little bit. I think I might just put a knife in I it. I think that's a really good idea. <laughs> see if it works. Oh, yes, it, oh, it does. Beautifully. Beautifully. Somebody else can finish it off. Do the rest of it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. In two hands. There is a knife there. What? There is a knife in two hands. I know there is. <laughs> <laughs> this is something 
this is more unusual. <laughs> that slicing tree. <laughs> Team. We stand. We stand. We stand. From this, from this, we stand. Here we go. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, G7. Thank you very much. Thank you. How's that? Are you supposed to be looking as if you're enjoying it? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Oh, you if, you can, if you could, uh, we, we have been enjoying ourselves in spite of appearances. But the guy to look at is. Loving and eternal God, we give you thanks for the life of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, for her 70 years of unwavering service to the country for her commitment to the Commonwealth of Nations, for her patronage of the Church of England, but above all, for her Christian faith. Lived out, as our motto says, in sure and steadfast, hope in you. We pray for her family, for her successor, King Charles III, and for all who mourn. May she now know the glorious hope of the resurrection and be at peace. Amen. Happy Christmas. 25 years ago, my grandfather broadcast the first of these Christmas messages. Today is another landmark because television has made it possible for many of you to see me in your homes on Christmas Day. My own family often gather round to watch television, as they are at this moment, and that is how I imagine you now. They would have religion thrown aside, morality in personal and public life made meaningless. I hope that 1958 may bring you God's blessing and all the things you long for. And so I wish you all young and old, wherever you may be, all the fun and enjoyment and the peace of a very happy Christmas. Now, happy and glorious. This is the moment, this is the moment when London, when the UK, when the Commonwealth joined of course by her son, the Prince of Wales and his wife. What a moment. So you like to watch it together? Yes. Let's have a look. Hey, Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? Please. Boom. I was deeply sad to find out about the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It is a heavy loss for all of Europe, for the world. On behalf of the Ukrainian people, I express condolences to the royal family, Great Britain, and the Commonwealth countries. One of the highlights of my uh, career was um, you know, being able to spend uh, the night at uh, Buckingham Palace uh, during a state visit, during President Obama's state visit, and talking with her about her gardens and walking through those gardens, it, it was an incredible uh, experience. Scotland loved, respected, and admired her. And by all accounts, Her Majesty was really happier than when she was here in Scotland at her beloved Balmoral a fact I have been privileged to observe personally. I hope it will be a source of comfort to her family that she spent her final days in a place that she loved so much. 
I had the opportunity to meet her before she passed, and she was an incredibly gracious and decent woman. And the thoughts and prayers of the American people are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. She was thoughtful, wise, curious, helpful, funny, and so much more. I feel very similar emotions, both at the same time feeling a sense of deep sadness, but also deep gratitude. Here is a woman who gave her life uh, utterly uh, to the service of others. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. Ihre natürliche Autorität, ihre immense Erfahrung, ihre vorbildliche Pflichterfüllung werden uns in lebendiger Erinnerung bleiben. Ihr Tod ist ein tiefer Einschnitt, das Ende einer Epoche. still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will, we meet, will meet again. again. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.